Hey everybody, it's Jason with the Board Game Mechanics, and today we're going to take a look at a game called Bonanza. Bonanza is a game published by Rio Grande Games, designed by Uwe Rosenberg. Plays two to seven players in about 45 minutes. More players, longer the time, all that kind of thing. And effectively what you're doing in this is you are bean farmers. You're trying to plant beans in one of either two or three different fields to harvest them once you get enough amount of beans to score a pile of points. There's some trading um, and all that kind of thing, but it has a really cool mechanism where you can only play cards from the right side of your hand. So you're trying to trade cards out of your hand to get cards in position where you can play to plant your field. That's enough talking about it. Let's go on the table. Check it out. All right, so here's a game of Bonanza, all set up for three players. In a three-player game, you're gonna use the player mat here with three bean fields. In a more than three-player game, you're gonna flip this over and have two bean fields. You're gonna randomly assign someone a start player, and you're gonna shuffle all the cards. In a three-player game, you're going to use garden beans, red beans, black-eyed beans, soy beans, green beans, stink beans, chili beans, blue beans, and you're gonna add in the cocoa beans. Cocoa beans are only used in, if you're playing a game of three to seven players, of uh, three players. If you're using more, you're gonna add a few additional type of beans. Then you're gonna deal, you're gonna shuffle the deck, you're gonna deal each player five cards. Now, the way you are dealt those cards is important. This is the first card I was dealt in the game. I have to put those in my hand like this. I cannot rearrange them. So my hand will look like this. Okay, so I'll play with this hand face up. The other ones will be face down just so we can see what's going on. Then you're ready to play the game. So on your turn, when it's your turn, so this player is starting, they have the start player card. You're going to, you have to plant one bean as long as you have cards in your hand, and you may plant two beans. Now the restrictions for planting are, each field can only hold one type of bean. So I have to plant this bean. So now I cannot plant anything else other than red beans in this field until they're harvest. Now I may plant another bean and I'm gonna do that because I have a garden bean and I'll have another garden bean. And that is that. Now the reason I played from right to left that's how you have to play your cards the card that's farthest to the right is the one you have to plant then after that you're not allowed to rearrange the cards which is why i played it like that now after i do that i'm going to take two cards from the deck and i'm going to flip them face up here what happens now is i can either decide to plant these beans in the fields if i had room or i was collecting or whatever or i can trade with other players so say i don't want either of those beans i can take one because i have an open field but maybe let's look and see what this player has Right, so this player has blue and chili ready to go. So they could maybe trade something with me. So maybe they'll say, hey, I'll give you this red bean here for those two cards. And I'm like, sure, that's fine. This player can be involved in it as well if they want to, but that's not the case. So you take the cards, put them like this for now. I'll take that like that for now. The only time you can take cards out of your hand in not this order is if you're trading. But the trade has to be official. So if they didn't want that trade, you know, I just kind of hold it up like this so I know where the card's coming from. And that's it, so I made the trade. Now we're gonna plant the beans. So I have to plant this bean in my appropriate field. And then this player will plant these beans in two fields. And then I draw up to three cards and they slide in like this. They go to the end of my hand. So I'm always getting new cards to play and the way that they're coming out is kind of random, but that's how I'm stuck with it. So I'm only gonna keep looking at this hand because this is the important hand. All right, so then this player's turn, they're gonna do the same things, they're gonna plant. So they have a blue bean that they wanna plant, they'll put it there. And they have this chili bean, which they'll go ahead and plant as well. That's why they wanted that trade with that player. They'll put these cards down right here. And then they'll flip two. And they're gonna go ahead and plant the blue bean. And does anybody want the green bean? Let's see what this player has. They haven't looked at their hand at all. What do they have? Uh, they have this. So they think, yeah, they'll take the green bean because they have a green bean coming up and I think that they can make some stuff work. So they'll take the green bean. Um, they're like, do you wanna trade something? And yeah, we'll trade you a chili bean. So they'll give them a chili bean. Then they take the green bean and they plant it. And again, the trading is more dynamic. I'm just kind of trying to show you how it works. 
And then this player has to draw three cards and they will go in the back like that. All right. Now moving on to this player's turn. They have these, th these cards left. They have to plant one, so they will plant this one. And then they may plant another one. They'll go ahead and plant this green bean right there, which is good. All right. Now they will flip two. Two blue beans. This player really wants the blue beans. And they will give them, they say they'll give them a green bean for both of those blue beans, which they will do. So they'll give them this green bean. They'll plant it. And then they will take both of these blue beans, put them in their field. And then this player will draw three cards. So one, two, three. All right, now back to me. All right, so I have to plant this one, the garden bean. And I may plant the soybean, which, yeah, I'll do that. That's fine, I'll plant the soybean because I can harvest and we'll get to harvesting in a minute because that's important. Then we'll flip soy and a black eyed bean. So I'm gonna keep the soybean. I'll go ahead and put it in my field. Um, we'll see if anybody wants to make a trade for a black eyed bean. No. No, all right, so I'm gonna be stuck with the black eyed bean, but that's fine. So I get a harvest. There's a couple, there's only really one rule to harvesting. Any field that has one, so if this only had one bean there, I could not harvest it if there's a field that has more than one. If there's multiple fields with multiple numbers, I can pick whatever I want to harvest. I can harvest as many as I want. You can harvest anytime you want, not just on your turn. So I'm gonna harvest. I'm gonna harvest these garden beans. I need two of them. If I have two of them in my field, I get two coins. The way that, that works is I take these cards, I flip them over. They now become money points at the end of the game. And I will also go ahead, I'm not gonna harvest anything else, but I have to plant this black eyed bean right there and done. I could also harvest this one because I have two. I would get one coin or I could harvest this. I have two and I would get one point, but I don't wanna do that. Then I get to draw three cards. So we'll do one, two, three. All right, and that's how the game's gonna keep playing until we've gone through this deck three times. After the first time, it's gonna be considerably less because we're gonna be converting these cards into coins, which takes them out of the game, effectively. And then once the, the deck has gone through the third time, the game is over, we're gonna count up, we can do any more harvesting that we'd have left, and we're gonna count up the coins that we have in our scoring pile, and whoever has the most coins is the winner. And that is how you play Bonanza. Let's go up to the top, see what you think about it. All right, well, that was Bonanza. So I, I'm a big fan of this game. Uh, this was Uwe before he woke up and decided he was a different person and was abducted by aliens and made Agricola. And this is a fun little card game. We've played it with everybody. We've played it with non-gamers. We've played it with people who play a lot of games. And it's just fun. I mean, there's something about, you know, having to plant the beans always from the right into your field. There's some decisions there, like when do I need to harvest, all that kind of thing. Do I want to trade with other people so I can get this card out of my hand because I have a field that the next three cards will work in? Great. The trading, when you're flipping two cards, you may get stuck with those beans. You got to harvest a field you don't want to, but you may get to trade a whole pile of cards to somebody so you can have that one card that you need. So good. I, I like everything about this game. And the art, I mean, come on. Look at this art. Let me take this rubber band off. This deck of cards has seen better days. Look at this art. It's a green bean. He's sick. It's hilarious. Red bean. He's embarrassed because he's got to go to the bathroom or something. Uh, the chili bean. Smoking a cigarette next to gasoline. Probably not smart, but it's a cute little art. I love it. I love the art. It's hideous, really, but I like it. I like weird art. The graphic design is awesome. Tells you how many cards are in the game of that kind. Tells you how many you need to harvest to score some points. Super effective. I like everything about this. Um, I have no complaints. The rule book is easy to understand. Gives you all the exceptions, all the rules. Um, no issues. It's great. We have a couple expansions that we haven't really played that much, but I, I'll be doing some videos on those as well, just because they add a whole bunch of different things. We have played like the ladies and the babies, but I'm not as familiar with it as I am this, so I didn't want to include it in this, but stay tuned, you'll see that. But just the base game on its own, amazing. There's three, uh, two extra kind of beans that I didn't show you. There's wax beans and, co and coffee beans. The more players you get, the more co beans you throw in, so you have more cards to play and you don't run out and all that kind of thing. I love it. So great. And again, look at this box. Who doesn't love that? Come on.
So yeah, I for as, a, a little silly card game, I can't get enough of this. It's amazing. So I'm actually going to give this a BGM except the seal. This is going to get an eight and a half out of ten on BGG, which is a four point two five out of five wrenches on our arbitrary wrench scale. That means absolutely nothing. But with that, to give us the games that we enjoy, and that's what I'm going to do. So that is Bonanza from Rio Grande Games. I'm Jason with the Board Game Mechanics, and as always, keep gaming.